wasn't all that long ago that the video rental store was the place to get your movie fix. Even people in their 20s can remember perusing all those titles, picking out their favorites and taking them home to watch. But now we're witnessing the end of an era. Boyd Hubert introduces us to a video store owner hitting the stop button on the last movie rental shop in the Twin Cities. 2,999,000 people in the seven county Twin Cities Metro. 2,999,000, amongst which. Good morning, Video Universe. Scott Prost has been left standing alone. We're the last video store left. Scott's business, Video Universe in Robbinsdale, once competed in a crowded field. There used to be hundreds of them in the Twin Cities. They're all gone. Hundreds of video rental stores down to one. Mystery. One. Science fiction. Big store. Musical. If Scott doesn't have it. The Schmengi's last polka. The movie. And this is on tape. Probably hasn't been made. I love something like uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Killing. Classics. <laughs> and the long forgotten. Lord love a duck. <laughs> All living in a space where comedy starting with the letter B alone fill four shelves. Documentaries. How many videos in all? Prepare for a deep breath. I'm gonna guess there's probably 40,000 titles. I know. Scott's story <laughs> has long been one of survival. Welcome to Blockbuster Video. When a Blockbuster opened down the street, some predicted Scott's doom. There's one near you. We outlasted them all. A grocery store now stands where bankrupt Blockbuster once did business. We survived Blockbuster with Hollywood Video, the chains. Survived Redbox and Netflix too. Yeah. Until now. Yeah. The look on Scott's face says it all. Yeah. After 40 years in the video business. Alrighty. Renting, repairing, and restocking. Scott's met a foe that's landed a fatal blow. It's the inaccessibility of new releases and titles. His once lucrative new releases shelves are becoming increasingly stale as streaming services hold on to their movies exclusively. They'll come out and then they won't release them on disc because they want people to sign up for that, that service. But streaming is not the same. Not the same as Dennis Deans browsing a video store. News of the world. Not the same as calling Scott on the phone. And um, what, which one are you looking for? All but certain. Ooh, ham. He'll have it. What? Mel. This huge selection of foreign movies. Not the same uh, as stumbling on something. Teenage caveman. You didn't even know you wanted. You know, coming in and not even having a clue what you're looking for, and then finding something that's just like, yep, that's what, that's what I came in for today. Like. I don't think there's going to really be a substitute for that. Sam Perkle has been here weekly since arriving from Chicago. I moved here and I like Googled like video stores near me, and this was like the only one in like a 50 mile radius. All of which leaves Scott pondering the breakup of a collection he spent his adult life amassing. There's the classics and probably the biggest collection of movies independently owned in the country. I would bet money that it is. There you go. In his Maybe dreams, someone will step up with the cash to keep Scott's collection intact. The last picture show. But he knows. Oh, don't make me cry. That's unlikely. It's heartbreaking to have it happen, you know? The clearance sale is scheduled for March. Oh my God. Doors closing by May. How are you doing? Old customers are stopping by. And you were like my babysitter, you don't know that. You know, oh, because they would, they would stay I, here for hours. Boom, boom, boom. One final chance to experience the last video store. This will be uh, 858. Thank you very much. And the dying gasps no. <laughs> of an era. Thank you much. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. See you later. Yep, bye bye. Robinsdale. Well, after spending his entire career in the video rental business, Scott isn't sure what's next for him. He's not ready to retire. Another reason he's saddened the end has come for his business. <laughs> And a lot we'll miss about it, that's yeah. for sure. You will ask my oldest son, what was the best job you've ever had? He will tell you Blockbuster, blockbuster and he won't even hesitate. That was his he favorite. He loved Carol that Evan? job. No. Nope. No, it was Blockbuster. <laughs> blockbuster. Right, I'm serious. That. I used to I love going there. I loved that job. I used to love going there with the And they're the so smart with the candy, right? Oh, and so that so where you had to wait yeah. in line, so your kids would be yeah. like, that, that. And then the independent stores like that yeah, one. I mean, yeah. well, it has yeah. so many treasures yeah. in there.